Hey guys, what's up? So, in this video, we will cover how to install an overlay or an on-screen display that you can modify as you prefer that will help monitor your hardware. Just check out the previous video along with this one that shows the statistics of your display. After this, will be an example of Revit. Here, it's trying to render an image from realistic view, so let's give it a few seconds. And there we go, as you see. So, let's get started. First off, we have to go to this page right here. I will show the link in the description below. Then, download the installer. Once done, this should appear. Make sure to have a WinRAR application that can open this or a .7-zip. I will show a download link for those as well in the description below. Once done, we can now install this. Just press OK on this part and keep on clicking Next. Here is one important part. Make sure to take this on. No need to create a shortcut and install. This might take a few minutes or a few seconds. It should show the rivet, this one. Same process. Okay, we can go ahead and close this one. Now, run the MSI Afterburner. All right, here we go. If you're using a laptop, this first dedicated graphic card would show. Let's go first to the settings. In this dropdown, you can actually select your second GPU. Do so, click apply, and you'll notice this part has changed. Next, I usually take both of these on. Also, do a check now so that it will help find a, a, an updated version for you. Click here, and let's first head to the user interface tab. If you want to change a couple of settings like the temperature format, the time format, or the language. Then, we can also change the skin right here. You can also change the scaling if you want to do so. All right, next to the important part, which is the monitoring. Now, here in monitoring, to enable this, you have to toggle the show in on-screen display. And since I'm using two GPUs in my laptop, I will toggle all of this on. Next would be the CPU. And you will notice that there's a plenty of numbered CPU here. Don't choose the CPU one. Instead, choose the CPU zero or the unnumbered one. Let's show this on in the on-screen display. Next, we'll go for the CPU temp, usage, and clock if you want to. And lastly, we'll look for the RAM usage. Here it is. Once done, just click apply. Okay. Minimize this one. Next, we will do the Riva Tuner, which is this one right here. Double click. Do the same. Let's go to the setup. Now, if your Riva Tuner doesn't show, you're going to have to uninstall or reinstall the MSI Afterburner again. And here in the setup, if this is too small for you, same in the user interface, play around with the scaling. Now, here is your OSD or the on-screen display that will show up in your monitor. You can do so by clicking it here in the corner to change its position or just place it around here as you will see the coordinates here as well. We can also increase its scaling like so. And to give you an example, let's try it in a one of the games I have in Steam. All 
All right, let's use this one instead. Give it a few seconds. And there you have it. Now, if I were to alt tab right here and open this, you will notice that I can actually control its positioning real time and change the zoom or the scaling as well, like so. Okay, but of course, the bigger it is, the harder for it for you to see the monitor itself. So let's keep it as is like so, and that's it. So for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.